Uh, Hubli is the right-handed blocker for Switzerland. Bechart is the right-handed defense. Now, the Australians have won the toss, putting the Swiss into serve. Nina Bechart to get this women's bronze medal match, the penultimate match of this women's world championship competition here in Hamburg, underway. Bechart, 23 years of age, from Steinhausen in Switzerland. Already the best performance of a Swiss duo in world championship competition. It's a service ace. What a way to start a bronze medal match in the world championships. Artaccio just a little unready for that. Ball dropping like a stone at the end of the trajectory. First point on the board for the Swiss. Over on two will be a tactic that we see on a regular basis from Australia. It works that time, Dave, but surely the Swiss need to see it coming a little quicker than they did there. Yeah, you can't serve Maria Feartaccio too easy because she tees up her partner to legal clancy. That is their strength, that is their power play. That's like how they like to run the offense and the Swiss need to be aware of it early. Well, service ace this time from Artaccio. 25-year-old, originally born in Peru, but resides in Adelaide, Australia. They've been playing together in 2012 and then reunited again in 2018, this Aussie pairing in their 19th FIVB World Tour event. Oh, there's a little kiss off the net that helps. Certainly puts pay to any Swiss challenge. Quick points on the board for Australia. Three to one. Tough serve, we saw the short float for the ace a moment ago, and this one kisses the top of the net. It's so hard to make the adjustment. It's a solid move by Huberly with one arm, but it's just not good enough. So right out of the gate, the Australians putting some service pressure on the Swiss. Now the informed team, the Australians, this is their fourth final four on tour for 2019. They've had some good performances, consistent performances on the tour as part of their build-up for these World Championships. A lot of people tip the Aussies to go all the way to the gold medal match. They were beaten by Alex Kleinman and April Ross in their semi-final yesterday. This time Hubli gets a little kiss off the tape of the net. And a good rainbow shot, roll shot over the top of the block from Hubli getting caught out of position. Bechard at the net and Hubli at the back of court there. Beautiful scoop up to the net, but the Swiss playing great defense. Huberly putting it away. It was so interesting last night versus Canada. Huberly and Bechard nearly pulled off a miracle. Yeah. They were down 14-11 in the third set. Came all the way back and ended up losing 19-17. And that could have changed everything. They would have been sitting in the finals but uh, they'll have to recover, come out here in this bronze medal final against Australia and hopefully keep some of that magic that they found in the third set last night versus Canada. As you said earlier, the Swiss uh, seeded 17. They're the surprise team of the women's uh, competition. This is the first time they've been in the final four for just under a year on tour. But they have really peaked at the right time in the season. They've had some spectacular matches, Bechart and uh, Hubli. Notably beating the Brazilians, Patricia and Rebecca. What a result that was to come through into this penultimate match of the Women's World Championship of beach volleyball here in Hamburg. Bechart serve. Clancy sets Otaccio. Otaccio, lovely play from Australia. The crowd please at that back set looks really cool. What Australia likes to do is move the ball around and Clancy puts up a beautiful set. Huberly has to seal up that line. Can't give any daylight to Artacho or she'll find it. Not quite got the block timing where she wants it. Talika Clancy at the net for Australia. Clancy, possibly the most experienced player on the court, Dane. A fifth in the Olympic Games, but with a different partner. But what I'm trying to get at with regards to Talika Clancy, she's a, she's a big event player. She'll certainly have 
the least amount of butterflies and nerves, and if she can find a rhythm, could be the big problem for the Swiss. Yeah, she's a physical player. You know, everybody has a different style out here, and some people like to finesse the shots down. She likes to power it. She loves the power play, and when she goes back to serve, she is a lethal weapon every time. And there's a perfect example. 78 kilometers per hour on the speed serve from Talika Clancy. That's just shy of uh, 50 mph. And she's up at the net. Starting to find a little bit of momentum now, Australia. And this is what the Swiss need to close out. Look at Clancy. She waits, she delays her block just a second, seals up the line nicely. Nowhere to go for Huberly. And that ball right off the right arm of Talika Clancy. She seals it nicely. Look at the focus all the way down to the sand. It's another fast and powerful serve. 84 kilometers per hour, the speed on the ball this time. Over 50 mph. Still up though for Switzerland, good play. Bechart looks to finish it again. Otacho has the cover. Clancy sets her partner. Oh, and it's the easiest of shots that Switzerland made the error on. Well, it wasn't that easy. It was kind of a loop, and Switzerland was expecting a lower shot. This is a beautiful rally, the best we've had so far. Back and forth there in the back court. Betchard getting the ball up, and look at Artacho. Full extension. That's how you play defense with that lead left. Keeping it alive, and there's a little loopy shot. Huberly knew she was caught off guard and a little too shallow in the court. Wow, what a rally, and so important. When you have a rally that long and you lose it, you, you really feel it. You get fatigued, you get a little tired, you win the rally, and you don't think anything of it. You're just on top of the world, so you can see gasping a little bit for Huberly and Betchard. They're going to take a break here. I think that's a, a solid timeout because if you're gassed, you're tired, you go back to receive serve, and you got Taliko Clancy ripping it at you, that can put you in trouble. Switzerland has never won a World Championship beach volleyball medal in the women's game. Australia have won a bronze before. It was Nick, Natalie Cork and Nicole Sanderson. Back in Berlin in 2005. So it could be the Australian second bronze, but it would be a huge story back home in Switzerland if Hubli and Bechart could take their first Women's World Championship medal back to the mountains of their home country. And of course, the World Tour heads to Stad in Switzerland next weekend. So it would be a big moment for Bechart and Hubli to go back with that lovely bit of jewellery around their necks. Fingers crossed. The momentum, I'd say, still with Australia. It's the power play that Dane was explaining from Talika Clancy that's keeping Australia on top here. And there is a perfect serve from Talika right on cue. She gets it done. She's a weapon every single time. This one cross court, one of her favorite serves. If you are not ready for it, it will cost you every single time. If you're that right side player, you have to take a step, protect your sideline. Clancy straight down the line to Hubli. Hubli on the attack, drops it short. Good cover from Talika, who now attacks. Bechart now for Switzerland. Little joust at the net, the ball is still up, and there's a challenge immediately. This is interesting because you have to challenge during the rally, and you actually stop the rally, so instead of playing on, the Swiss could have won that point, but then they wouldn't have the opportunity to challenge, and Huberly decides to stop play. That means if they lose this challenge, they'll lose the point. Both blockers seem to connect with each other's hands and both miss the ball. Well, this is the question. Switzerland believes that this ball was never touched. Ooh, that's, that's close. If it wasn't touched, then it's the fourth contact for Australia. If it was touched, then Australia would have three successive contacts afterwards. 
but we have to get a view to see if the ball was touched by the Swiss player, basically resetting the side for Australia. It's a tough one. Referee Rivera Rodriguez, certainly relying on his friends from Hawkeye here to give us the answer. Wow, that, you know what, if that's what they're going off, it is difficult to see there. I would have liked to see an end line camera, yeah. not the net camera, to see if there was any touch, but sometimes it's very difficult to find. So the Swiss, they'll retain those two challenges and they will win the point as well. Four touches at the ball for Australia. Successful challenge from Switzerland, six to 10. This is Nina Bechart serving. Just 23 years of age. Oh, Hubley's found her block just when she needs it most. Tanya Hubley puts another valuable score on the board for Switzerland. Now just three behind Australia. I like what Hubley did. She waited, showed very late, sealed the line, and there's the fire, the fist pump especially after winning that challenge. So some things going the way of the Swiss. You just got to keep the momentum and keep chipping away at this lead. It's interesting, Australia passes the ball to the left and you look, see there's an option for Taliqa Clancy, but the blocker's right there waiting. I'd like to see them set that ball in front of Taliqa on the other side of the net, make Huberly move laterally all the way down the side of the net rather than being able to stay stationary. Hubley again with good work at the net, but the ball is still up. Good cover from Nina Bechard, who now looks to finish for Switzerland. Talika Clancy doing her job as the blocker for Australia and doing it well. You know, he said she was a very physical player, and this is why. Taliqa Clancy will hit the ball on the second contact. She'll rip her serve, but more importantly, she knows how to attack the ball and to stay up at the net and be a force. She waits, presses, and yet another block for Taliqa Clancy. Look how nicely her arms are together. There's not a lot of uh, cracks in that block that you're gonna exploit. Maria Feotaccio serves. Nina Bechart on the serve received, now attacking. Cross court, flag stay down. Perfect length on the ball from Nina Bechart. And as we are heading into the tech timeout with a total of 21 points on the board, that is a big score for Switzerland right now. Yeah, very fortunate that that ball goes in. Maria Fey can just watch, and Switzerland really starting to cut into this lead. Hubley serves Talika Clancy with the perfect serve. And uh, Switzerland are back in this bronze medal match. At one point, they were trailing by four. They call a timeout, put the points on the board, and now they're just one behind Australia. Yeah, I call that creating your own luck. You know, they made that challenge call, and from that point, it seemed like the momentum and things started to fall their way. And right now, the Australians have to look out. Tough serving by the Swiss have put them in all sorts of receiving trouble. So at the halfway point of the opening set, we take a technical timeout. Each team is allowed to call their own timeout. One per set is a 30 second break in play, but the tech timeout just takes us to the halfway point. Now, not a lot of communication between Clancy to the right of your screens, Ostaccio uh, to the left. But it must be playing in the back of their minds that Switzerland have found a little more momentum and maybe a few answers to better the Australian game plan here. There were three very quick and efficient points on the board for the Swiss duo. As we come back out of the dugouts into part two of this opening set, women's bronze medal match. And it's very close indeed. Both of these squads were two and one in pool play before getting to the round of 32. And both are really on fire. They just ran into some tough opponents in that semifinal action. 
the Swiss losing to Canada, and of course the Australians losing to the United States. Great shot from Talika Clancy, right off the back of the tech timeout, re-establishing the Australian break at 12 to 10. That's how you come out of a technical timeout, ripping the ball, putting the pressure on, and do not let the Swiss get too comfortable. See the blocking signals right there. And you see both those index fingers, that's that you're gonna block your opponent's line and you're telling your defender to block or to dig the angle. A lot of communication between the athletes. Bechant with the service for Switzerland. Good play from Australia. Maria Faye Artacho on the right side. A little inside out rotation away from her body. Great contact, great spin. You see Bechar trying everything to get that up. And that's especially specialty for Maria Faye Artacho. At five foot nine, she's got all the shots. Otaccio goes deep into the Swiss court with her serve, targeting Nina Bechard. She goes over the top, good turn and burn from Clancy. Clancy tries to go over the top, Bechard has it covered. Hubley tools that ball off the black, the block of Clancy. Good play from Switzerland. Switzerland has to capitalize on that. Clancy with an easy shot down the line. And then they come back after the turn and burn, Clancy should have crushed this ball. She doesn't. That gives Switzerland an opportunity. And she gets it high off the block there on that angle. I actually didn't see the touch initially, so smart play by Switzerland. Little out of position, Switzerland here, but they're battling and digging deep. Hubli finally gets the ball away. Her partner running from left to right in the rear part of the court to keep the ball up. Nina Bechard playing a great game in defense, but it's Hubli that puts the spike away. Too much heat, right? Maria Faye Artacho in the right position, hands just not up in time. That ball hit a little bit flat. And what I mean by that, there's not a lot of top spin on it. Therefore, it can float a little bit, make it harder for the defender to control. Scores are tied. Hubli with the serve. Targeting Otacho. Trading side outs now, both teams. Good elevation by Maria Feartacho. Getting up and crushing the ball. She is a shot specialist for sure, but when there's an opportunity, she knows how to rip it. Salika Clancy. Jump, float, serve. Oh, and that's another ace from Clancy. That's that powerful play that Dane was referring to earlier. 28 total score on the board. Side switch to make sure there's no advantage from one end of the court or the other. Clancy needs to keep hitting that ball hard because Hubley clearly not comfortable when she takes a full power serve from the Australian. Good play from Switzerland. Great work from Nina Bechot. Excellent on the serve received and a beautiful kill on the ball to take the point. Nina Bechard seeing the court so well. Australia needs to be in their set spots at the point of contact. A lot of movement happening after the ball has been hit. Oh, Attaccio, good court vision. Saw that Bechard was moving across to the left. Good play. Break now with Australia at 16 to 14. The heat's on the Swiss girls once again as the ladies from down under look to close out this opening set. Yeah! 
Oh, Talika Clancy at the net. If she can keep those coming, Australia will be looking good for a bronze medal. She's been a force, right? Moving laterally, being deceptive, and pressing over the net. It's so easy to get tooled out of bounds, but Taliko Clancy makes sure that that ball ends up in bounds. And Huberly, a little perplexed, trying to find answers here, even when Switzerland puts it up and steps up their game. It seems like Australia goes to another level. Oh, well, Nina Betchart did the work, but Hubley thought she'd missed it. 18 to 14 for Australia. Now starting to stamp their authority on this opening set. Betchart had got this covered, Dane, and I'm not quite sure why Hubley didn't make an, an attempt to keep this ball up. Well, I think it came at her a little quicker from her angle, and she tried to, but by the time she got her hands out of her pocket, <laughs> the ball had already passed. Attaccio targeting Hubley with her serve. Hubley's put that ball out of play. 19 to 14. Looking a little despondent now, the Swiss ladies. Good service run from Artaccio here. Again to Hubley with her serve. That's the shot that Hubley was hoping for two, three plays ago. Nice roll shot over the top of the Aussie block. That's sometimes all it takes, right? Downshift, take it easy, survey the land, or listen to where your partner says, and place that ball with accuracy. Clancy serves a touch, sets a touch, Joe. She gets a little under the ball. No touch there, so the lead is cut to three. But it has been all Australia. Four service aces, three stuff blocks so far. Got themselves in position to win this first set. There's going to be a challenge here by Australia. They thought that that last ball went off the top of Huberly as it went out of bounds, but Huberly turned and said, not a chance, and this is why, because it is so far away. It's about two, three inches away. Not real close, but a good little timeout. Regather yourself. If you're Australia, you're thinking, we just need to side out two times, and the first set is ours. Tonya Huberly serves for Switzerland. Otaccio picks it up, now looks to finish. Good strike of the ball. Betchart has the cover that's needed for Switzerland. Betchart has the power play that's needed for Switzerland. It's another point back. Now, we've seen the Swiss do this before, Dane. They're not afraid to dig deep when it looks like the other team's about to close out. Yeah, we saw it last night, I believe you're referring to, Nick, against Canada down 14-11, and they ended up tying it up at 14 and extending it. The problem is, every once in a while, that push comes a little bit too late. We like to see this push early on and not allow those four consecutive points at the very bottom for Australia before turning it around and the Swiss have three in a row. So will they complete the comeback here? Still down a couple. Australia just needs to side out twice in the first set would be theirs. A lot more comfortable when you get that first set under your belt. The pressure is relieved. Let's see if the timeout works for Talika Clancy and Maria Feyartaccio. Australia in their yellow vests, in the white vests and with the grey of Team Switzerland. No matter what the outcome, this is the best world championship performance of a Swiss women's team. Can the Europeans take the medal? Talika Clancy makes that timeout work for Team Australia. Set point for the Aussies. 20 to 17. Smart timeout there to come back out, get the point quickly. High off the block of Huberly. And there's the focus of Talika Clancy. So high, 
six feet, but she has those really long legs, almost appears to be about 6'3", but she jumps well, has a really wide wingspan, and has been getting it done. It's a big, powerful serve. Good cover from Otaccio. Little joust at the net. Otaccio goes again for Australia. The ball's out of play. Switzerland, 18 to 20. Set point number two for Australia. It was the right play, right? The court is wide open for Maria Fe Artacho. She digs the ball. Everything textbook goes away from body, but she just overcooks it by about six inches. Nina Betchard with the serve for Switzerland. Side out for Australia. We'll bring the first set to a close. Otaccio on the attack. Down to their sand. Betchard does brilliantly to keep it up. Switzerland still in the chase here. Clancy for Australia. That is a beautiful strike. Cross court, high speed. Australia, 21 to 18. The first set goes to the ladies down under. And they sure earned it, right, on that rally. Playing some high-level volleyball. Artacho crushing the ball cross court. Beautiful low dig by Betchart. And then it's Talika Clancy on the right side. Has an opportunity to just rip it. Betchart moving one direction. Cannot get that ball up in the air. And the first set goes to Australia. They were strong from the onset. Here's the match statistics right here. Very even. Australia 4-2, to two, though, in the ace category and 3-2 to two in the block category. And almost 10% better in terms of side-out percentage. Those slight differences are exactly what can create a 21 to 18 victory. Let's have a look at Switzerland's pass accuracy. You want to be in system. They're 47% in system. 33% are coming off that net too far. And for Australia, 68%. So if that box is full up, you are passing the ball well. You're able to run your offense efficiently and ultimately, you're gonna score more points. And then watching the clock, Talika Clancy, she can't get out there quick enough. The game wants to keep that momentum. That brought Australia the first set at 21 to 18. Set two, must win for Switzerland if they're to take this bronze medal match to a third set tie break. I like how Switzerland played, but you mentioned when they have that ability to make the push, they need to put themselves in position earlier so they're not playing catch up. Yeah. Get a lead and then make a push and blow your opponent out if you can, but don't wait to be in a hole to step up your game. Oh, great block from Hubley. Or was it Betchard at the net there? I think that's why there's a little chuckle and smile. It's no, it was Huberly. Betchard in the backcourt making a beautiful dig. And there is Huberly with a huge move to her left and a stuff down. That's why people regard her as one of the best blockers on the FIVB World Tour. Gets her hands in really solid position. Not much angle open for Taliko Clancy. She's the tallest player of the four on court taking full advantage of her height there. First point in the second set on the board for the Swiss. Betchart with the service. Over on two from Otaccio is well read. And another point for Switzerland. Well, maybe they heard us. Maybe they're going to get out to a lead because almost every set that we have seen here on center court for them, they've had to play a lot of catch up. Really nice shot. Celebrating their success there. That ball barely making it over the net and avoiding our uh, Taliko Clancy. Artacho almost with a dig. Another good serve from Betchart to Artacho. 
Taccio goes over the top of the block of Tonya Hubli. She's six foot three, the Swiss blocker. So that takes a lot of skill to make that shot work from uh, Maria Fea Taccio. And it's perfect, right? About two inches right above the fingertips of Huberly. She tries to turn and burn and get it. But that shot just way too accurate. Both the Australian players out of Adelaide. Talika Clancy with a good, strong serve. And a super block on the line. Block number four for Talika Clancy of Australia at the net. This will boost her confidence. So hard to block on the line and not get tooled, but Taliko Clancy doing a great job pressing with the left. They're coached by Kirk Pittman, the former player out of New Zealand, and he has them running a really great varied offense and keeping the, the opponent guessing, because you know when you're out here long enough, the scouting report gets out. But Taliko Clancy and Maria Ferratacho have adjusted they won the last event in Warsaw, Poland, coming into this World Championship, so they have a ton of momentum. They'd be very happy with a bronze. Yeah, Kirk Pittman working with our very own uh, Louis Lett, uh, coaching British beach volleyball until the Commonwealth Games in 2018 when he switched from the British position to take care of uh, Talika and Maria Faye. And uh, what a job he has done with this duo. Jane, you call it perfectly. They're having the best season of their careers on tour, on the FIVB tour for 2019. That's a good shot, though, from uh, Nina Bechart. She's comfortable at the back and the front of the court. Multi-talented Swiss player. Huberly has to back up to set the ball, but she still puts it in a really solid position for her partner, Benchart. Great cover from Bechart. Can she finish? It looks good for Switzerland. Oh, look at Talika Clancy. Sky ball to keep it in play. Switzerland have to try again here. Oh, brilliant. Deep shot from Huberly right to the back of the court in the corner as well. And this crowd absolutely loving it. There's Betchart committing fully. And here's the dig that goes deep in the court. Taliko Clancy showing what an athlete that she is, keeping it in play and the crowd really enjoying it. But one thing about this crowd here in Hamburg, very educated crowd, and they love to cheer on their athletes on center court, regardless of if they're from Germany or not. Attaccio attacks for Australia, sees the gap, reads the court well. Good vision from Maria Faye. so hard to read and so accurate with her shots. Taliko Clancy trying to heat it up from the back line. Ball was out of play. It's a shame for Nina Bechard. It was a wonderful serve receive. Clancy firing that ball over to the Swiss court at 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, just shy of 50 miles per hour. Scores are tied at 5 all. This time the serve is just a little too long from Talika Clancy. But for every one she misses, she's getting a couple in, Dave. Who believes to serve? Well, Talika Clancy loves to go over on two. We haven't seen it for a while. But... That was with her left. <laughs> Talika Clancy, wow, what an athlete. She's right-handed, but she goes up. You know what? I'm a little out of position. How about I use my left hand? And the Swiss right there completely caught off guard. Just showing you once again what an athlete she is. Excellent score from the Australian. Little confusion between the Swiss players. Who's going 
for Otaccio's serve, but they sort themselves out. And a good shot again from Kubali. Big double arm lift to get that forward momentum moving upward in a vertical way, and then Kubali crushing it. A lot of sand on the hands there. The celebration between Betchard and Huber. Tough serve. Very good. It's a great shot from Talika Clancy to get herself out of trouble. Well, she did the right thing. She's dropping off the net, but just not quick enough. Because Betchard launched that ball right at the body of the Australian blocker. It was a solid drop decision, I thought, but even better decision for the Swiss. You're always taught, go at the retreating blocker, because the defender's already set and waiting for the hit. The blocker is still moving, and it's very difficult to dig in that position. Clancy. Down the line. Power play. She loves to strike that ball hard. And the Australians just within one point of the Swiss now. Yeah, eight to seven here as Clancy rips that ball. Not sure why Betchart was watching that go by. For sure in. You gotta dig that ball. Play the close ones. Control your own destiny. Good play by Tanya Hubley again. They know they need to win this second set, the Swiss team. And they're keeping the pressure on Australia here. Look at that, full extension. And I love when I see defenders try to get two hands on the ball because you can control it a little better. Sometimes at the very last second in desperation, that's when you break out the single hand. But anything short, try to get two hands on the ball. Good strike from Artaccio of Australia. Pretty equal second set so far. A lot of going back and forth. No one able to grab an edge. Too much heat on that shot. It goes long and you see the focus and the concentration of Australia. They got that first play up in the air. Made Huberly come in offensively a second time and look at the intimidation the huge jump and you really know she's got to go high that block alters her shot and the ball ends up just long it's the high ball where the Swiss have had most of their success it's at you Great cover from Maria Fay. Can she finish now for Australia to take the lead? Hubley sets up Betchart. A lovely roll shot over the block. Good play from Nina Betchart. Just hoping to maintain Switzerland's advantage. Just a couple of points away from the tech timeout now. Caught with the serve over on two. Talika Clancy loves that play. Couldn't have been better, right? Artacho loves to put it up, not in the middle of the court, but off a little bit to the left side of the court for the Australian. And that gives Talika Clancy an entire angle or line set up to hit. Easy point for Switzerland going into the technical timeout. At the halfway point of set two, Switzerland lead in 11 points to 10 in a set that they have to win to stay in the match. Australia winning the opening set 21 to 18.
six kills, two unforced errors by Betchart. She hasn't had nearly the action that her partner Huberly has, who's the full-time blocker. Here's a look at Betchart tagging the outside of the line, showing she has angle. This time going right down the line. Hitting the top of the net on a lot of her hits, but still with enough velocity to get them to the sand. Let's take a quick look at some of the RTBS information, real-time body sensors. 324 kcals, that's Betchart working the hardest. And all of the athletes out on court covering over a kilometer. 1.2 kilometers, the highest covered distance. Good side out for Australia coming immediately to tie the scores after that technical timeout 30 second break. You know, Nick, we talked about it. The Swiss, they need to make that push now and expand the lead rather than don't wait for Australia to get up three or four points and then make your push. They need to do it right now, but Australia making it very difficult. And there's a huge hit challenging Taliqua Clancy as Betchard, and she gets one of her hardest kills of the match so far. Great rotation, using her torso, ripping it with that arm. Great shot. Betchard it is with service short to Talika Clancy. Almost got an ace there. And a roll shot from uh, Huberly over the top of Talika Clancy's block. I think they heard you, Dane. They're pushing a lot harder coming out of the tech timeout in the second set, certainly, than they did in the first. What an amazing short serve. Puts Talika Clancy in all sorts of trouble. And then the conversion. Huberly with a smile on her face. <laughs> and Talika Clancy saying, go, come on, let's do this, Artacho. I think she really expected her to get that high line shot. Mixing up the serve, Switzerland. Going to Talika Clancy rather than Attaccio. Australia win that one. 13-12, very close, but you have to feel that Australia still have the edge here, knowing that they've got that first set in their back pockets. Little pokey's out of play from Nina Betchart. Talika Clancy, that's a good serve to Betchart, who now attacks for Switzerland. That's a nice play. Clancy should have turned and burned and taken, gone for that one. Looked like she had enough room. It wasn't that far away from her, Dane. It was just too good. Such a low trajectory, too. So that ball is coming down almost the same time as Clancy and no opportunity to extend perfection right in between Artacho and Clancy, that shot. There's the back set for Clancy. Down the line she goes, lovely shot. That one is so hard to defend because you don't know if Artacho is gonna go over on two and then she sets the ball about 12 feet behind her and Clancy beats the blocker to the position. A shot. Good roll shot, right on the line. Keeps the advantage for Switzerland. Quick side switch. Talk Every about switch. accuracy. That jar using every opportunity to put a point on the board, playing some great defense in the backcourt, but this one is getting a little nerve-wracking if you're Switzerland because you're down a set. Another lovely strike of the ball from Talika Clancy. 27 years of age, out of Adelaide. Playing brilliantly on the tour in the build-up to this uh, World Championship. And of course, winning the last event before heading to Hamburg in Warsaw, Poland. Service ace! Just when Australia need it, tie the scores 
at 15 all. And will that ace give uh, Australia the momentum now to try and close out this bronze medal match at two sets to zero? That was a beauty from Clancy. Yeah, you, you just knew she was going to strike at some point because it had been a little bit too quiet for too long, and she now ties this thing up at 15. And Taliko Clancy is just that type of player who can make a difference so quickly with her blocking, with her serving. She's a point scoring machine, and wouldn't that be something if they get on the podium, third place at the World Championships, any jewelry, anything around your neck in terms of a medal at a World Championship is really a huge accomplishment. Take a look at Australia's attack zones. 33% on that left side and that left side over on two, we've seen quite a bit where that 33 and the 26 are, and that was Taliko Clancy. For Switzerland, their attack zones more on the right side. Why? Well, that's because Betjart in on that right. Huberly on the left, very distributed equally, it seemed, for the Swiss as opposed to the Australians. Another great serve from Talika Clancy. And another shot to finish it and take the lead at 16 to 15. Good play from Australia. Timeout does not work for Switzerland. That'll be another dent in the Swiss ladies' confidence. Powerful serve at 66 kilometers per hour. Talika got her hands on it, but Atacho thought it was going down the line. She'd already committed. Those are tough, right? Betchart goes down the line. Artacho is all over it, but then Clancy gets a piece of it, alters the direction, and the ball eventually falls. So you can see the intensity on Huberly's face. She knows they're down a set. They need to get a little separation to be comfortable here in the second. Oh, wow, that ball going straight from Maria Fey Artacho to Betchard, but it clips the top of the net and just trickles over. Otherwise, this is a free ball situation for the Swiss. Look at that, great defensive move, was going to be right where the ball was supposed to end up, but to take that little lucky net any time. Here's Hubley on the tack for Switzerland over the top of the block. Oh, Atacho almost there. Not quite. Important side out of that for Switzerland to tie the scores at 17 all. Great close-up shot of Nina Bechart. Foot fault, it looks like, from the line referee. And immediately the Swiss call a challenge. Of course, foot fault is something that can be challenged. We haven't seen a challenge here in the second set, I don't believe. So both teams have both of their two challenges awarded. Oh, this is going to be so hard to tell. Was it the foot or was it, ooh, I don't, I don't know that she made a fault. No fault, says the Hawkeye system. So, lucky escape. Two challenges remaining. The scores are still tied at 17 all. Switzerland serving to stay in this bronze medal match. In that case, reversal of foot fault. It will be a replay because play was stopped. No point was scored.
Nina Hobie, the second referee, just making sure the scoreline is correct. Lechot, long wait to get this serve off. Keeps a focus, Attaccio on the attack for Australia. Roll shot over the top, good cover from Bechot, who now strikes the ball down the line. Advantage back with Switzerland at 18 to 17. We may be going to a third set tie break here. After a long wait and the challenge for the football fault, we get going. And it's the Swiss who score that ever so important point after the slight delay. Bechant with service once again. Attaccio on the attack. Cross court this time. Successful for Australia. Scores are tied at 18 all. This is crunch time right now for both players on that Swiss side. They have the pressure. Remember, Australia is up a set, but of course, Australia does not want to go a third. You got to slow down this serve right here. Oh, it's a good serve. Well controlled by Bechot. The set was not ideal. Wow, a huge, maybe one of the biggest miss hits that we have seen. That ball went on the fly almost into the first row. No touch here. It just starts up and keeps on going. All the <laughs> Nina Bechart can do is smile. Yeah, she and sees the funny side. <laughs> yeah. Just put that in the rear view mirror and move on. Talika Clancy serving for Australia. Another great serve received from Bechart. And good play from Switzerland. Good strike of the ball. A little extra on this one, Nick. She comes in and just crushes it. She says, I do not hit balls out of bounds like you saw in that last play. Let me show you what my normal hit looks like. Pressure and the intensity starting to show on both teams now. Can Australia close this out? Can Switzerland take it to a third set tiebreak? 19 all. Hubley with the service. Clancy sets her partner. Attaccio puts it away. Match point for Australia. And they put this ball down with authority. Maria Faye getting up, and there's that emotion right now. We've seen that not only out of Clancy, but now Artacho. There's some adrenaline flowing. Good shot. They're still in it, Switzerland. 20 all. Well, this is sometimes where Switzerland starts to step up. They feel the pressure and they start playing on another level. Let's see if they can score this next point and take the advantage. Good serve received from Attaccio. It's over on two. Talika Clancy gives Australia their second match point in their quest for world championship bronze. It's been 16 years since Australia last won a world championship medal in the women's game. In Rio back in 2003, Natalie Cook and Nicole Sanderson. Will it be Clancy and Attaccio in 2019? It's another good serve from Clancy. It's there, bronze for Australia, and Artaccio cannot believe it. 16 years in the waiting, Australian beach fans have waited for a world championship medal, and today is their day. Beating Switzerland, two sets to zero. 18-21 in the first, 20-22 in the second. Congratulations to Australia. The first medal of the championship is taken and it goes down under. And wow, did they earn it, right? Every single time the Swiss put up a fight, Australia was there to take it to another level and 
mostly in part to the tough serving and huge block at the net. Of course, complementing that beautiful defense by Artacho in the backcourt. And the Swiss can hold their head high. They had an excellent tournament. All they need to do is learn to turn up the intensity early on before they're put in a corner. It's still a record-breaking performance from the Swiss team. Uh, the best result in a World Championships of Beach Volleyball for a Swiss female pair. But it is Australia who dig deep, closing out the first and the second set.